Good day and welcome to our explanation and demonstration of what happens to files that have been set up to use folder redirection when you turn folder redirection off. This is actually the second part of our two-part series. The first video now is a link in the top right hand corner and shows you how to set up folder redirection. All right, let's show you what happens when you turn folder redirection off. I think you'll be surprised. I know I was. And by the way, yes, I verified this with Microsoft. I've actually reviewed the video. And let's go into app data and roaming, and there's some stuff in here. Now I'm going to uh, double click on that. I'm going to create a folder in here because I want to see if this all gets shifted back happily when we turn this policy off. Because I genuinely don't know. I think it will, but I just don't know. So I'll call this test folder 7, 7.29 PM. And I will create a text file. I'll call this test yeah, that's enough. Test text, that's fine. And I'll say, this is a test from 7.29 PM. Right, so there's some actual data in there, something that could get corrupted or damaged. There we go, so that's gone. So if you've got Microsoft Teams or actually almost any application that's storing data in that app data folder, and you get rid of this policy because you've decided to turn it off, you wanna make sure that it's not gonna blow up. So let's go find out. I'm going to close this because there's just no point leaving it open. Then let's go back to the domain controller. There we go. Now, just a note, if all you wanted to learn from this was how to use folder redirection, congratulations, you're done. But I want to turn it back off and see if things blow up. I don't think they will, but they might. Let's find out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that user out of the Active Directory group that has folder redirection applied to it. So I'll go to Active Directory, Users and Computers, and let's go into folder readers. There we are. And I'm going to drag this guy out and just put him into normal users. And so he's no longer part of this folder redirection group, which means this should no longer apply to him. This OU, this GPO should not apply. So let's minimize that, go back to the test PC, and let's do a refresh again. You don't have to know this. In your case, you just reboot to find out. But I'm going to go through this because I want to show you the error. And we'll go to GP update slash force. And I'm expecting it will come up with the same thing saying, hey, we can't make this change until you log off. There we go, great. So I'll say yes to that. And it logged us out. So let's go log back in. Do, 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 Come on, test user three. Crank that bad boy. My guess is it's reconfiguring itself and moving everything back. And it should be transparent. So let's go to File Explorer. And look, the little icons are gone. Recent files are here. That's a good thing. And you can see where they were stored. But that should no longer be the case. Let's go drill into the, well, we'll just go right into Documents first. Test is there, and you can see it's local. Let's just right click on this and select properties. Yeah, it's back and it's local. Okay, now the one I'm actually interested in is the roaming profile. So let's go to C, users. This is test three, app data, roaming. There it is. And let's see if the file is still there. It is. Okay, now I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to go back, I'm going to reapply the GPO to this machine, but I'm then going to remove just the app data redirection. Let's see how that works. Okay, so just keep watching. And this should be moving up uh, both that new folder that I just created, plus the old stuff that was there before, the old things that were in my documents and uh, in the roaming profile. So let's go on to this and take a look at the properties. And you can see, yep, it's been redirected. So that's great. So now what I want to do, well, let's just make sure that everything's going the way we expect. So I will go to documents. Here's my test document. I'll create a new test document, test two. 
So I'll just put the timer, 7.37 p.m. Close, yep. And I'll also go off to test user, we'll go to app data, roaming, and we'll create another folder here, test 7.37, p.m. And again, I'll create a new text document and uh, I'll call list 737, how is that? Uh, I don't care about the bracket and I'll put 737 in here, bunch of garbage, next. Okay, there we go. So we have some real world data that we can use to validate that turning off just the application data folder redirection doesn't blow everything up. I'm really hopeful, but I just don't know for sure. Okay, so back to the domain controller. Now, what I need to do here is go to the GPO, just right click on it, select edit. Let's go find it. Users, policies, windows, fo yeah, folder redirection. Oh, what a memory. Let's go into that, select properties, and I'm going to say not configured. We're just gonna turn it off. Click okay. All right, now let's go back to the PC, run the old GP update. Said I'm very hopeful, but I just don't know for sure. So let's get out of here, go back in. By the way, yes, this is all being done in an Azure uh, cloud using just test accounts, all being done for free. Okay, well, there's my 735 folder. That looks happy. Let's go take a look at what really counts here. PC and see what is in users, test user, app data, roaming. I don't see that folder we created and that and the, the uh, 737, I believe it was time text document. That is bad. Okay, I'm going to reboot this, which really just gives it more time uh, to sync up. Something's not right here, I think. So let's do restart. I want to restart it. Be right back. All right, let's see if it's back. I'm not very hopeful about this. It's very disappointing. Let's just take a look and see what happened here. Again, I'm not hopeful. So let's go to C, users, test user three, app data, roaming. No, it's not there. Oh, that's crushing. Another way to go would be to manually copy it back when you make that change. You could add a script, a login script. So for instance, let's go to uh, the path here. You could add a login script to copy all of this back to the local machine. Okay, so let's install Teams. All right, so to be clear, because it does get confusing right now, I've turned folder redirection for app data back on. And I have the redirect folder back to local user profile location when policy is removed, turned on. Okay, so when I go into PC, I should see, yep, that's been redirected. And I should see roaming. And it is, and I've got my little green sync icon. Something to note is down at the bottom right, you'll see the sync icon as well. And that allows for offline files because, of course, you need these to work when people are offline. And that just takes us back through to the same place we were. So, so I cleared out the files that I was playing with earlier uh, just so that this is nice and clean. And what I'm going to do now is install our friend, Mr. Teams. There, now I've got Teams. So let's go take a look and see where the configuration files actually went. App data, roaming, like, ah, there we go. So it did add a Teams folder. That's great. Okay, so we've got Teams. Now let's go back to the domain controller and remove that policy. When I say remove, Going to change it to not configured. Click OK. Let's go back to the PC and run a GP update. 
we go. Yes, we will log off and then sign right back in. All right, let's take a look at what happened to our app data folder on the network. It'll still be there, I'm sure. There's still lots in there. Okay, let's go take a look and see what's actually on the local machine. So it hasn't moved back all of the settings. Teams is still running, but I think it's still running from the LAN. I think it's still using that path. Let's try to delete. Now there's no more sync on here. I should in theory be able to just right click on this and delete it. I am the owner of it. I am test user three. I'm the only person that has access to that. It's letting me delete it. I expect it will chip. There we go. So yes. Okay, we'll skip these and see what's left. Just Teams. Look at that. That's obnoxious. So Teams data just doesn't get moved back. Just that simple. Well, that's disappointing. Let's uh, sign out, sign back in, and uh, just see if we blew up anything else in Windows by deleting all of those files. I suspect not because it let us delete them. They weren't in use, but you never know. System looks fine. I see a sync warning down here. Let's take a look at the sync here. I don't see any warnings there. Let's click sync. Sync complete, that looks happy. No error message there anymore, that's fine. So let's go look at our test user, and my guess is all the team stuff is, yeah, no, this is not good. This is really not good. It seems to be ignoring that policy to move things back. I suppose it now says not configured, so it just ignores it. So the only way to get everything to move back from the server to your machine is to go to your DC, as we showed earlier, and take the user out of that policy. So in this case, you can just take the user, move them into a different group, and then this policy won't get applied and then things do move back. But that is not a workable solution for real companies because you would have all of the data that's on the server move back to the local PC and companies don't want that. They just want to get rid of that app data redirection. The amount of bandwidth that would be required to pull all of those files through for all of your users would be massive. And then you'd have to set up a fresh policy that pushes everything back to the server through folder redirection, except app data. Yeah, so that's a crisis. This just doesn't work. That's very disappointing. So there you have it. It doesn't move that roaming data back if you disable just the app data. That is very, very disappointing. And I will be following up with Microsoft on that. Well, look, if you have any questions or concerns, please put them in the comments section below. If you like this video, please click like. It really helps with the Google algorithms. And subscribe is also huge. And you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.